Hey guys, this is SnagZack8, and welcome back to more Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. This is part 20. Uh, in the last episode, we had to leave Dummel Fractured Hills um, because we needed to come back for a, with a new power for a different orb. And then we did this speedway. It's not out there. I don't, I don't know where it is. Somewhere. Um, we did that, that weird icy speedway. Did a little hang gliding, paragliding. And now we've got the last two levels. If we can see if we can open our guidebook. Last two levels here to do. Um, we have Magma Cone, which sounds okay, but does not really sound like something I want to tangle with right now. And then we have this other level, which sounds a lot more delightful to me. Shady Oasis. So I'm thinking I want to go here. We'll save Magma Cone for last. It just sounds like a volcano level, and like the last level we were in had lava and stuff. I don't want to deal with that right now. I want to get my shade on. This little... Oh my god! Is that Maddox? Is it him? Is that Maddox? Yo, that's Maddox. I'm, I'm calling it right now. I don't care if that's not Maddox. That's Maddox. He makes the same sound and everything! Maddox Dragon Egg, my little buddy! He stole some apples! I don't even want to hurt him, I want to be on his side! But it looks like these weird hippo guys are our friends this time. Spyro, it's a good thing you're here. I've been trying to get a berry out of this magic berry bush, but I'm just not strong enough. Guys! <laughs> if you charge or flame the bush, one of those yummy berries should drop. Alright, I'm freaking out right now though, because I'm pretty sure we just saw Maddox! Maddox, dude! My guy, my little friend! I actually meant to mention, I think, in like the second episode, I was like, I wonder if Maddox is in this game. Um, for any of you guys who have no idea what I'm talking about, um, ew, what are you, girl Maddox? Genie or something? Um, for those of you guys who don't know what I'm- This is just like a little Maddox home world! Oh! Look at the peacock too, that's kinda cool. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, definitely go watch the Spyro 1 project. I feel like most of you guys who are um, watching this now have probably already seen that, but if you haven't, and you wanna know what I'm talking about, you can go watch that. I guess I could explain it too. Um, man, you just walked right past that scimitar Maddox. Didn't you, Mr. Hippo Man? Just not, not, don't even care. Just not, not into it. Oh my God, I love this. There, it's, it's, there's so many different types of them. But it definitely is him too. Cause he made the little na 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 sound and that's what the Maddox has always used to do, wasn't it? Oh my God, Maddox, all right. Well, we'll continue with the level, but I'll continue to freak out probably too. I think they said we could uh, flame these these tree things. Oh, we I got it. Okay, I didn't realize I, I had gotten it. Um, <laughs> man, I I'm, it's cool though. It's cool that that like the little you know turban enemy guys came back because they were a big part of Spyro One and just not in this game at all. Is this? This is back at the beginning. All right, I was just just trying to figure out what was going on here. I guess I could have also glided from up there over to this ledge, but uh, nah. I bet y'all knew too. I bet you guys knew this was coming. <laughs> Did you? Did you guys remember Maddox Dragon Egg? <laughs> All right. So the story, it's it's so dumb. The story behind that is. Have I told this before? It was a joke between f school friends and I. We were in, I, w I took this class once when I was in high school. It was called Virtual Enterprise. It was like a, fo uh, a faux business kind of class, just like an elective kind of thing. Um, and the big, uh, <laughs> one of the big things in Virtual Enterprise is we had to like, we had to play on this like stock market thing or something or some like fake stock market program and the thing is you could create whatever name you wanted to like be on the stock market so um a couple of my buddies and i created this fake name maddox dragon egg 
and uh, and he he was always like causing trouble on this like program for like everybody else. He was like making ridiculous bids, and then sometimes they would like pay off, and then um, or you know it, it was just it, it was a troll account basically on this like weird stock market thing we had, um, and uh, and nobody knew who Maddox was. They were like, "Who's Maddox Dragon Egg?" And it was just like a little secret between some buddies of mine. And the reason that that's, a th that's relevant to Spyro at all is because in the first game, those, those little turban guys who would run around and stuff, um, they, uh, they always had dragon eggs, one of the collectibles in that game. And so, because he had the dragon eggs, I started calling him Maddox. And then it just sort of spiraled from there. Y'all probably have seen it. I don't know why I'm explaining, but I just... I know it, it's it's a sacred thing. I just want to make sure it gets represented in this project too. We're really following our little hippo friend a long way here. He seems to be a pretty good adventurer, like in his own right. He's he's holding his own against a lot of this treacherous territory. Is this something I can eat? Yeah, I guess it is. Um, oh, let's see. Maybe I can. Whoa, hold on. Whoa, woo, whoa. Maybe I can spit. Hitting the Whoa. bush with one of those lava rocks should work. Okay. Well, I already had figured that out, hippo friend. Let's do it. Yeah. It's more of a tree than a bush, I would say. I would definitely describe it more in the tree variety than the bush realm. <laughs> Did that guy take the enemy out for me? Oh, I do want to take this guy out still. <laughs> Maddox. <laughs> Just call this episode Maddox in all caps, future snack, and put a space between each of the letters. <laughs> so dumb. Ah, man, here we got another mystery pot thing, which is probably not terrible because. Spyro. Oh, hold on. Three thieves have stolen our magical brass lamps. Please get the lamps before they take them away from Shady Oasis. I see, Mad Maddox brass -a lamp, eh? Catch the wily thieves. All right, you heard the man. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> All right. It's probably not terrible that we um got the little magic pot thing here because well, can I claim this for anything? I guess not. Um, because I want to go be going back through the level anyway. Thanks for helping me reach the great berry bush. Now we can eat berries all the time. Here, take this. It's a gift from all of us hippos. All right, well, I don't care about you guys. You know, in any other level, I would probably think you guys are pretty cute, but uh, thanks for the lamp, I guess. Genie lamp. Let's see what it's called. That's my new thing. I like seeing what they're called. Uh, mystic lamp, okay. There's two orbs here. So one of the orbs is definitely um, this, uh, lamp quest and the other one I'm assuming must be wasn't this where the the mystery vase thing was wasn't it like right in here is he gonna come around the other side well there he goes it's a chase the chase is on just like always <laughs> bring it bitch I've done this before you know give me that lamp wasn't this where the other pot went? I thought I could have sworn that I saw it in this, uh, this, this green area. Oh, there's tons of, there's way a bunch of weird stuff down there. I think that was a, uh, what do you call it? A, a shield power up there? Maybe the green stuff is like toxic. I bet I could probably fly down in there, honestly, from that little platform I was just on. But let's do this Maddox quest first because I love it more. Just make sure I'm not missing the golden pot thing. This is where we chased him to. This is where we got him. Give me the peacock. <laughs> that was <laughs> the peacock noise. I pride myself on doing a very solid uh, peacock noise impression. I'm probably. I don't think I'm gonna do it right now, just because it's loud. <laughs> and there's people in my house that are gonna be like, uh, "What just happened?" If I do it. But um, if you ever meet me in person or something, check it out. It's pretty good. Just ask for the peacock noise and I'll know what you mean. Is it up here or something? 
Where is the vase? The vase. The vase. <laughs> what if you went into like a fine pottery shop or something and you were like looking at a vase and you were like, ah, I do say, sir, this is one fine vase. And they were like, what? Like they, like you just thought that was how you pronounced vase or vase. Which I think vase is actually the, the truly correct term, but I have plenty of people say vase. Um, I, I guess there's another Maddox around. Did we not come up this way before? Is this, is this different than what we were? Well, there he is. I, I think this is actually a new area. I thought this is where we were, um, this is where we came from, but I guess it isn't. Um, I'll get the treasure first. Really, the magic pot's not anywhere to be found? It's nowhere around here? Whoa, he jumped down. All right, well, that makes it easier for me. Whoa! Oh man, how am I gonna catch this guy? This is like one of those advanced Maddoxes. Like the one, remember the one in Spyro 1 who was like running around a pool? That was like a classic one for me. Ugh, I was so close there, I thought I had him. Now I also know that, oh damn it, he turned around. You can't do that. Where'd he go? <laughs> I also remember that in Spyro 1, you could flame these guys, and that's something I almost never did. I don't even think I really realized that you could um, until it was like close to the end of the game. But maybe that will also work on him here. I think just I think I can just if I'm fast enough, just run him down though. I think I'm gonna did he jump. Yeah, he jumped back over here now. All right, well, I'll chase you this way, I guess. Are you gonna jump back up there? Yeah, I can't get up there. <laughs> We're back, baby. The only thing that was missing from the Spyro 1 playthrough was this. Now it's back. I like that it's confined just to a level, though. I think if there were, like, dragon eggs or something like a akin to that as a collectible in this game, it might just be a little too much. Oh, Jesus. You know, know what I'm saying? Might be a little too much. <laughs> There's already talismans, orbs, all that kind of stuff. In Spyro 1, it was, it was just dragons and eggs and treasure. A lot of that stuff was just lying around. Damn, I'm getting, like, I'm getting closer to him, but... I don't know the good place to actually get him. I feel like it's got, I think, like, it feels to me like it should be right there. I wonder if I can flame. Let me try it. Yeah, I can. All right, cool. Learning from the Spyro 1 days, because I could have chased that guy for ages. And, you know, part of me probably wishes that I could have, because I just, I'm just now a nostalgia boy. Spyro 1 now has nostalgia for me. I've become you guys. <laughs> oh, damn it! I was trying to not be in the green zone, and I stayed in the green zone. You hate. <laughs> Alright, so the last guy, where could he be? Probably down here somewhere. Here we go. The, <laughs> the scream noise from these peacocks, though, is pretty comical, I think. <laughs> it sounds like they are just not prepared for what's about to become of them. Alright, there's another way to go over um, up through here. Let's try that out. Because we can definitely glide down here. I'm pretty sure we can make this. Or at least, if not from there, we can make it from... Was that is that where we glided from? I feel like we definitely can make it from somewhere around here. Yeah, not in there. It's f through here. We can definitely make it from this. Right? Right. All right. Uh, we don't want to go back down there. Is this? Oh man, I really hope I don't have to head bash to get that. That'll be disappointing, if true. I know I know how to get this now, though. Let's see, 
That is a very well hidden rocket, actually. Um, at least I don't have to go do like a supercharge. Uh, <laughs> what you call it? Do like a, a, a we another weird, crazy supercharge challenge to get that. Though that was pretty cool in that last level we did. Alright. Hey, there he is. There's the last guy. And there's the next uh, pot. I don't know where that is. I think that's actually... That looks like it's right back where we already were. And this dude's, of course, he's going to take us all through the... Um... Oh, there we go. Man, yeah, see, with the flame, it's so easy. So much easier than how I did it through literally Thanks all of Spyro 1. Green magic lamp. Here, take this orb. Some fairy left it with me, but it won't hold a proper shine. All right. Well, shiny or not, they're what I need. What I want. Orb me, daddy. It's been a little bit since we said that. <laughs> probably probably for the best, honestly, that it, it has. But whatever. Orb me, daddy. I said it again. All right. I do want to go back to that area that we were at before, though. Because treasure-wise, we're looking pretty fine. Um, that uh, that uh, box with the bullseye on it does concern me, but you know, I'm 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 willing to try everything I can to it before giving up and just being like, well, go, well, the thing is, now that I know there's a power called head bash or something, I'm like trying to to piece out what it's going to be used for. And that seems like a pretty safe bet that it it, it may be for um like uh, like it's like a head slam or something like that and it'll let us do stuff like open that that uh metal crate thing. Where is that at? Is that down here? I'm going in like a weird kind of like random order I feel like for these things now before they were always in a path but that one like circled back around here is it up here yeah it is all right and that I think that's right back in the very beginning so let's go down there you can get there from here yep oh I landed right on it I didn't even realize that was gonna happen all right there we go uh, now I guess we'll just go back up uh, this area over here. I think this this really seems like the last area. It's a very interesting looking level. If you look at the map, it's like all kind of central, like it, it's it's circular in kind of a way. There's a shield power. That's probably the last orb. I'd have to assume is what you do with that. Let's collect any treasure we could still find from around here. Is that trash? Is there trash down there? No, oh, I thought I saw another little basket. Um, all right, let's talk to this kid. Spyro, my brothers have been trapped in solid rock. I'm afraid you'll need to learn some kind of head bash move before you can help us. Ah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> well, I guess we'll do this. I don't like the head bash. I don't like the backtracking. I don't want to do it. I want to just do it the way I want to. What does he mean, though? That like, what would we need to use a head bashing move on? Is there a way down here? Maybe it like breaks these grates open or something. That doesn't actually just looks like a texture. That doesn't look like anything. Wait, can we go through the waterfall? No. Maybe. Oh, I, I guess I can fly up. Though I think this will just take us up to the um, the top shelf area. I believe that's probably what will happen. Well, let's see. Can I just like... Can I just... I can't just pound down on this. It's probably like a ground pound or something. That's what I'm envisioning. Um, man. Alright. Well, maybe this goes somewhere different. Let's see. No, nah, it goes up here. What did he say? His brothers got turned into statues? Where even would they have been? Can we talk to this guy one more time? I mean, obviously we can't do this challenge, Fire. but... My brothers have been trapped in solid rock. I'm afraid you'll need to learn some kind of head bash move before you can help us. Alright. Well, I'm sure we'll get that very early into the, um... 
the what you call it the next hub world which we're almost at anyway so I guess I'm gonna leave that stuff behind and we'll take the portal out of here we're almost done though we only have one orb and 20 treasure the 20 treasure is probably in that little um, metal thing down there that's the guess that's what I'm going with I'm sticking to it if I'm wrong whatever we'll have to come back anyway and these guys are like I don't know one of these guys is like a vampire demon kind of guy there's just like a regular hippo there's the big hippo they're like uh oh he's been stealing all the apples Oh, <laughs> he did it. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Hey, one where nobody got horribly maimed or brutalized. That's nice. You like that? <laughs> Usually somebody dies in those cutscenes. That was a very peaceful level. And it was a beautiful reunion with a long, weathered, not maybe wouldn't say a friend, but definitely a friendly rival. Uh, which was, of course, the Maddox clan. So it was great to see those guys back again. Um, love that there's a level that clearly draws inspiration from those little guys from Spyro 1. I'm glad they weren't just forgotten in the Spyro, you know, universe. Um, yeah. So I guess next time, we, with nothing else, no more running or faffage to do, we'll have to take Magma Cone. We're on, yeah, see, 80, we're in the 80s for both these levels, so. Well, honestly, we can probably knock all the rest of the backtracking out in here in, like, one episode once we get the head bash power. That's what I'm thinking. Um, but Magma Cone's next, and once we've got the talisman for this world, we'll be able to, I assume we'll be able to take on Gulp, because um, we fought Crush in the other world. But that'll, of course, all be in the next episode. So until then, guys, I've been Snack Attack 8. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Later!